Well, it might be cold outside here in Sweden, but in the server, it is hotter than ever. A dominant, well, not dominant, 16-14 win from Furia just moments ago on Forza's map pick of Inferno. Now we head to Nuke, the map that Furia picked into, and uh, I think they've got their eyes set on a 2-0. Yeah, they've certainly got to be feeling for it, but remember, Fours do like this map. This is not one that they uh, they are going to fall shy on. When we saw Fours attend a bunch of qualifiers for the uh, for a, a bunch of Pro Tour events uh, last or oh, this year, sorry, we saw them constantly taking on uh, teams on Nuke. I remember they even lost 16-14 to Liquid on this map at one point. So definitely going to be you know proven to be a, a force on this one. That being said, yeah, a map up, Fury have got to be feeling comfortable. They dodge overtime with a force buy in round number 30 back on Inferno. And that has got to really hurt if you're fours. Yeah, I, I think I think you know. For, there's, there's kind of two ways that that result can go, and I'm looking at this in a more optimistic light. I, I, I believe that you know, Furia, they, they had that game in the bag, right? They were 15-11. I think if that ends 16-11, they're going to come into this feeling very little pressure. Uh, the fact that they were tested and it went the distance, it goes all 30. They use all their pauses, right? They, they started to feel the pressure a bit more, and so as a result, I don't think it's going to be as easy for Furia to come into Nuke and play a, a disrespect style of Counter-Strike, right? Like, Fours made them earn some respect back on Inferno at the very, very end. So I'm hoping that coming into this, we can we can see the Fours that we saw glimmers of back on Inferno, uh, and we can see that and more here on Nuke, because I would love to go the distance here, Hugo. Yeah, without a doubt, and I'm excited to see where we're going to be starting. I imagine uh, Fury get the pick with this being Fours' map choice, but even so, that CT side is going to be so important. Momentum being a crucial factor here, and most of it flowing through Furia's veins after that previous one. We're just waiting for uh, a, tech, a tech issue, some players fixing mics on the Furia side of things. I, I got to ask then, Hugo, you know, based on what we've seen, based on what we know and the tendencies of these teams, uh, who, who would you say you want to be keeping it on? Who do you want to see racking up some numbers here? Uh, on, on either side of the table. I mean, I'm going to just go with the basics, Harry. You've you got to jump on the AWP player, especially in that CT side. We're probably, you know, similarly to Inferno, we're on a, not on a map where T side orping is necessary, so to say, although it can be effective. But yeah, over on CT side, Z Power without AWP, controlling the yard, playing secret, watching that lower bomb site. We're going to need to see him perform once again. He had a great CT half back on Inferno, unfortunately, getting dodged quite a lot by Furia. But on a map like Nuke, that's not something you're going be able to do as much. You've got to take that yard control as a T. Uh, you know, we're seeing those full smoke execute so commonly nowadays, so that's going to be a, a big problem. But we're getting into things now, Harry. We're getting into map number two. Furia looking to 2-0 this series and head to those semi-finals. Yes, indeed. Nuke, the second map in this series. Furia's map pick. The team that sit 1-0 right now. And we're getting, uh, no, yeah, once again, we tricked <laughs> you. We did it again. You didn't think we would do it again, but we've done it again. Mate, That's, uh, but, you know, doing, doing nade damage in spawn is one thing, but fours are just, <laughs> this is mutiny now. This yeah, is, yeah, they've this risen is up against, uh, against Jerry. Had enough of this, his tyrannical ways. Just waiting for the round to get restarted, and we'll get back into things either way. But well, yeah, I'll give you my play to keep an eye on over on the Furious yeah. side. I think I'm going to be looking once again. You, you mentioned it. You got to look at Orpers Henny for that CT side performance. And then I'm thinking, you know, maybe uh, maybe a big performance in store from the likes of Yuri or Caserata. I think they're the players I'm going to be keeping an eye on as well in the rifling department. Um, but we're getting ready for this. I, I want to touch on as well. You mentioned T side orping. I think as well with the Krieg still being pretty strong. A lot of the times we see the AWP player tend to bring that out on the T side of Nuke instead. I feel like the AWP is always a bit more situational on your T side Nuke. If you're a team that goes for a lot of outside control, if you've been facing a lot of outside control from your opposition, that's usually when you see the AWP bought out, right? Something yeah. just to combat those long sight lines. It doesn't have to be a priority for Furia, though. It's great for getting opening picks, but you do see the AWP get kind of ham hamstrung after that, right? You can you can take those door peaks, you can fight ramp, but after you've found that initial angle, you kind of left uh, with not a lot of options as an AWP on the T side until that bomb's down and you can play a post play on. That is one of the reasons you see less teams lean towards it, but let's see how these guys approach it as we finally get into things. It's real this time, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting into nuke map number two, and the pistol round is live. 
And this time, full utility behind it. Henny, Art, oh, and Yuri all donning that. And Nade as well. This is looking like a fast A play if I've ever seen one. They blow that door open. They smoke off Mini. They go running on in. Face crack. Still an unknown entity. And that Molotov that was meant for the top of Hut looks like it oh. missed dearly. And that might come back to punish Furia here as it's a three on three out of the gate. Oh, Almeida though. He's caught somehow surviving for far too long, but he won't get a frag from that flank in the ramp room. Furia, they're going to ditch the A site. They've lost control. And with that pick going their way, they have a new route of attack down towards the B-bomb site. At least that's where the bomb's going. Flick has beaten it to the party, though. And with low HP, it's only going to take a single bullet to finish the job. Jerry spamming away. He needs to try and escape. He's been dinged, but he might just have to go down with a bang here. Put some damage the way of Art. Oh, this is messy. Art's going to win the duel. And now it is the 1v1 with the bomb dropped on the B site. And Art's just going to now slow things down. He's got 50 seconds and he's going to savor each and every one of them here. He's going to try and get in the head of Flip, the last man surviving for fours. He's keeping an eye on the vents as Art has really drawn out this ramp play just to place that seed of doubt in his mind. Flick going to reposition. This is the perfect read from him. Oh, oh Flick's made noise. This is that jump onto the console. Happens to all of us. And now, oh, might have an idea as to where this last man resides. The problem Art's going to have is Flit has played this very, very well. He's going to just concede the bomb site. Art's low. As he taps that bomb, it's bought some time for Flit to get into position over here at Decon. Art's going to stick it this time around. Plugs in those numbers. Door goes open. But Art holds oh. his ground. And he's going to hold it in the long run as well. Three kills to finish that one off. And Fury, they're going to find the pistol in spite of the overwhelming odds against them. The worst part about that is there's nothing Flit did wrong in that round, right? Of course, the jump is a bit of a mistake. You can't account for that. But, you know, opening the door upon hearing the bomb plant, assuming it's a fake, not wanting to push out and risk dying. And then R just nails him with the first, or with the final bullet. 1-0 for Furia, the start that they would like after taking the previous map. And fours are going to force. Nothing too surprising here. CT side of Nuke does tend itself to low buys. SMGs and pistols are going to have lots of avenues to attack. You can see that Deagle posted up inside of the hut with face crack. It's being covered though. Ooh, not bad. Chunky grenade. Got no one playing yard here for the CT side. So that's a big area of the map open. Furia don't have a player exploiting that though, so no knowledge for them. Scout tag does minimal damage towards the toes of Henny. Might need some new shoes. That's about it. So now, not really seeing anything over here towards the inside. We saw Art and Henny. I'm oh, sorry, Art and Caserato start to head towards outside. It's Henny over here at Squeaky Door. So they want to try and pincer into this A bomb site. And with Fours giving up a lot of this map control outside, that's been allowed to come through. Face crack is only good for one this time around. Still pushing on in, but that UMP catching another. The fast hot flank coming through. Almeza tries to play the trigger discipline, and as a result, doesn't get a single kill, oh. and they completely forget about K Serato, the threat that lurks in main. Fury are going to get back on top of that round once again. Lots of damage found, though, from the Fours side of things. It's always tempting to reinvest after a round like that coming so close, but Fours would rather have guns sooner than later, so just going to be another eco. Bit of investment here and there. Have a chance to win this round, even with these pistols, but yeah, Furia, heavy SMG is looking to make mincemeat of this eco round from fours. Nades into that A site towards the door early on. Face crack is watching it though from above. Angle that more than favors the player on top of the hut. And that's why Furia playing passive and away from it. Oh dear. Oh wow, that's a great kill. Flit taking down Vinny with a right eye peek. Drop into the hut from Flit, and he's got himself a second as well. Gets away with a gun. This is how these rounds spiral out of control. Furia, not much map control. They've got to play it down B, but Henny's been spotted and tagged. He needs to come in on this wrap through heaven and provide some big covering fire. And with armored players still alive over on this CT side, that Galil becomes a, a little bit terrifying. Right, right now it's in the hands of Z-Power, so not the end of the world. 
But if that finds its way into the hands of someone like Facecrack, that's when I start to get worried. Furia, they're looking a, a little bit confused yeah. as to how they want to deal with this. They, they were hoping that someone from Fours was going to give something up, and that might have been it. They do damage onto Z Power, but they don't quite find the kill. And all this time that it's taken is allowed Facecrack to come in from behind. Somehow Yuri's going to win that, jumping around with the Mac 10. Flit, Z Power, 30 seconds. It's not impossible, but they're both so low on HP. Flits down to his last few bullets and lucky enough doesn't even have to use them. Art's going to save him the trouble of running out of ammo there on the uh, on the pistol. And for Z-Power, holding on to the Galil, certainly not the, uh, the outcome they were hoping for here. Yeah, I think the indecision from Fours, uh, sorry, from Fury, actually wins in the round. They take so long to decide what they want to do and where they want to go. And that actually baits Fours into getting aggressive, thinking they're already going for an execute. Face crack caught on a ramp flank. And now Z Power, I mean, this is not a winnable round. It's all about damage, taking away players looking to save. And they might actually come his way as well. So there's a couple of opportunities here to rid the world of some Furia players. He needs to run as well if he wants to keep this Galil, but he's just not going to let him. Free kill and a little upgrade as well. Furia 3 0 up on this T side. I like the distraction plays that Furia always go for, you know, in these in these three on threes and these three on twos, just making noise, drawing the attention of that top hot player in towards Squeaky Door, and then sending a player in through the main smoke. Just little risks and rewards as a result. 3-0, and the buy is here for fours. AWP coming straight in. And a bit of a bonus round attempted here from Furia. Now goes sneaking around towards outside. They, they actually throw those smokes on uh, like a disjointed timer almost. They're trying to bait that Molotov oh. out that teams throw in to block that wall of smokes. Wow. But the wall that they should have been worried about is the wall of Jerry over here in main. Finally, Art has dealt that killing blow onto him, but it's a man advantage for fours, and they're gonna take that all day long. When you work into the fact that now as well, Z Power and Ormazer have both gone aggressive into the lobby from Ramprim. They could catch Serato over in the hut. They've seen him. Fours at this point, they've got a very good idea as to where these players can be and what exactly is going on in this round. And Z Power was just primed and ready, waiting for that peak from Art. All the hope now falls onto the shoulders of Vinny and a 1v4 required. He's at least got down three secrets. So there's a chance of a bomb plant here. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's not oh, gonna work no. at this is, all. This is an, oh. Ooh, ooh. I thought the, the view model for a second might have given him a chance, but Almeza was covering it instead. So that's gonna be Force finding their first round. A bit of an identity crisis as well, right? So much lobby control. We have that AWP holding from radio and watching hell. They knew that that rap was coming in through outside after Jerry gets traded. He calls uh, the reposition from that main player. First round for fours. Let's see if they can build upon it as Furia buy up the AWP straight into this round. Art's going to be taking that here for the T side, holding Mini. Looking through that door. Ooh, the Molotov. Ooh, it's spreading and it is hot indeed. Henny has been toasted down to 50. Vinny getting picked up as well by Face Crack. Not the start that Furia would have wanted here as they look to try and break the money of fours, but it might go back against them. Orp tags traded, no kills coming through and right straight into the ramp room. Almeza is already here, he doesn't realize they passed the position. Art oh, getting through, but Z-Power has the cover and Almeza in from above the boxes with two. It's left Yuri alone once again, but he's not down B this time. No chance of a bomb plant here. And he's hoping that, you know, one of these ramp players gets a little too big for their boots. But in this situation, Fours, they don't need to offer anything up. They don't need to go aggressive. All the pressure is on Yuri. And right now, Fours are doing a great job of just giving him nothing to work with, right? He's seen nothing since his teammates have died. And 45 seconds left, Yuri, is he just coming into the save? He's yeah. going back at a T-spot. He's hiding. He's done. He's out of this one. Fours, they're going to get this second round dead to rights. And they might even hunt down this last player. They're going to spot that the rest of the map is looking squeaky clean. Flip and Almazer, both responsible for clearing the lobby portion of the map. Z Power's even wanting a piece of the pie as well, mate. They're hungry for this kill. Yeah, they're not going to find it, though. I mean, no. T-Spawn hide. Like, you, you're, you're getting away with that gun every single time if you're Yuri. Even with the spawns being moved a little closer, it's still too far away. 
So guns are saved and AKs are scavenged here for fours. A successful round with five alive will really build their money on this CT side. And yeah, Yuri knows that, okay, we're going to get $1,900. Who cares? I'd rather have a Krieg in the eco round and have a chance to actually get these opening kills. It's also a gun that can be scavenged by the rest of his team, albeit if they're armorless. Uh, a rough one upcoming uh, for Furia regardless as they only have one player, one chance to do anything. Vinny's going to buy a grenade. I imagine we're going to be seeing a, a potential vent dive in this round. It's actually a hell of a commitment to this uh, investment, but Henny's down to 850. This is going to mean it's a uh, double eco for Furia. <laughs> oh, and I mean... See ya. We're seeing a couple of players for fours and we're already kind of hitting some blinders, right? And that's always good to see. Uh, ooh. That's a bit ugly. Jerry falling, falling prey to the Glock P250 rush outside. Yuri's even taken another one down for their troubles. Facecrack has tried to come in for the trade and he's done a bit of damage. Has dealt with that first man. Now knows that Caserato is here as well. Caserato's only got a Glock. So yeah, he's not winning this fight any day of the week. Come on, Henny. It's on him now. He's going to go to try and do what all of his teammates have failed, and that is getting past this wall outside. Z power. Ooh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Dr. Ooh, oh, maybe. Oh, the nade's gone in, but he's able to get away from it, and face crack is there to cement that one. A third round for fours. The AWP carried forward as well. Face Both crack. of them, in fact. Sorry, Facecrack has been having a great couple of games here, Harry, at uh, DreamHack Winter. He had a phenomenal showing back on the previous, although Fours lose it with 14 rounds to their name. He really held up his own, and he's doing the same coming into this map as well. That's what you like to see. But is it going to be enough? That's the question. Fury already three rounds, and I thought it was a double eco, but no, they're just going to buy with Galils and go fast into this A site. A player already out through the door. Facecrack doesn't realize. Jerry laying down fire and does actually have that kill. No uh, successful round for Art, but the rest of his team are going to go barreling into the bomb site anyway. Facecrack up close. Got to watch out for that pistol. Oh, oh they go crossing into him though, and Facecrack finally dealt with. Caserato in with a double. That bomb is still to be retrieved. It's dropped into the realm of that A bomb site and Z Power over in made. He's not missed the beat thus <sighs> far, oh, but no. that's a shot missed. Caserato, this was 1v4 and now a 1v1. Almeza with this AWP, they know he plays over towards ramp so often in these rounds and Caserato, he's oh. waiting patient as ever. Oh, Almaze is coming! He's no way out of ammo! And now on the angle with the AWP, he's trying to bait the shot out. He's trying! <laughs> and he jiggles and jiggles, but in the end, Fours are gonna get it. 10 HP left on Almazer, and a fourth round locked in. They're able to scavenge it from what looked like an impossible clutch coming in from Caserato. They just about weathered the storm. And fours, they'll get a fourth. And that's so unfortunate because there's only two positions Almaze is coming from. It's heaven or it's that ramp flank into lobby. And even though it's red, Caserato doesn't want to reload. He doesn't want to give away his position. So he just has seven bullets, doesn't get the kill. And fantastic patience from Almaze to nail that shot with the AWP. It's what you love to see as fours will not give away anything here. Bomb plant would have made all the difference, but Fury is just going to force. They know the money is low for fours in the reserves, and they might just make it even worse. Art with an opening kill towards Mini, and he's gotten by. Does the power realize there's so much noise being made? He is running, he is gunning, but the trade is in, and Art's still not done. Second frag of the round. Z power trying to trade, but he's got players pressuring him from the garage. There's nowhere free, there's nowhere to go for fours. Up the ladder and right back down as the Orc lands a crucial shot to his face into a three on three. Yuri up in heaven. Meanwhile, Jerry and Caserato are dealing blow for blow over at Squeaky. They've spotted that three players are here. And so now Yuri and Henny, they are going to try and hit this B bomb site. Henny is just coming in late on this lurk. He's hoping he can deal with these rotations. We've seen this situation before, though, for Furia, where Yuri has had to go down towards his side of the map alone. We saw what happened there. That bomb was dropped, and then it left them in a clutch. So. This time around, they can't afford to have that happen again. Flick oh. position up in the window, catches them by surprise, and just Henny left. He'll get put in the grave. Three for Z-Power in that round, and a fifth round for fours. 
really starting to come into their own on the CT side. Five in a row, and a lot of that is off the back of these fast, ferocious force buys that Fury have been showing us, just continually reinvesting and yet again doing it once more. The issue is, without bomb plants, it doesn't matter if you've got max loss bonus, you haven't got a full buy. This is not a full buy in any regard. Galil, AK, and pistols. Yeah, I just kind of want to see Fury as just, like, it, just take one round, just one. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and then, you know, then they have everything they need. The, I, the issue is as well, it's like, this would have worked. If if they did this, if they won this round, last round, or even the round prior, it would have had consequence. But now Fury, uh, it doesn't matter if they win this, Force is still going to be able to reinvest. So all you're doing is digging your hole deeper and lowering your chances of actually being able to make any economy on the T side. They're not getting enough kills in these rounds to justify the Force buys. Yeah, this force doesn't look like it's been done with the purpose of having a couple of players that are going to have everything they'll need, right? But I would just love to see a buy from Furia yeah. where they head into it with everyone, with everything. Because you can't have too much of a good thing. Apart from most good things. Yeah. But everything in moderation, one of them. Everything in moderation. I don't want money in moderation. No, true. You want none of it. Oh, there we go. But everywhere they turn, everywhere they find a bit of progress, it just seems like Fours have got so many players there to pick up the pieces to mop up these rounds. And this one is no exception. Because while Z Power is drawing them in, Face Crack comes up the vents, but it's to his demise instead. Z Power does it all from inside the bomb site with that AWP. Yeah, a timeout from Fury as well. About the right time for one time to discuss this economy situation. It is a mess. And Z Power is having an absolute field day. No utility to shut him down. No AWP on this T side. And multiple 3Ks and back to back rounds here for the AWPer from Fours. 6 3 up. Every CT round in a row for Fours as well. Fury have been quiet in this half. And they do have a buy, and you know, okay, right, it's still, I guess, quote unquote, a force, but this is the best buy Fury have had all game. And that's kind of rough to be saying uh, round number 10 when they won those three opening rounds. Mac 10, Galil, three AKs. It's, uh, it's something new though. And let's see if they try something new, not just these inner plays. I'd like to see outside smokes or even control down towards ramp taken. And yeah, they're going to go for the former. Quick smokes into the yard. Fours are looking to contest though. And he pass actually crossed towards Secret. A risky play, but it's going to work out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that is high risk, high reward, right? If you manage to get across, if you manage to survive, you're in Secret far faster oh. than you ever should have been. And so getting that kill, leaving yourself an amount advantage, sure he gets Molotov down, but even as they concede outside control, they've got players nearby to deal with this problem. Flashbang out to try and allow Jerry wow. to re -peak, and that's ballsy, maybe a little too ballsy. Case Serato getting away with a lot of damage here, but the kills have to come what? in behind it. And now just Yuri and Vinny left in a two versus three. They got a bit of pressure towards the A-bombs that they forced some rotations in. It's just now another case of a Furia. As far as they're concerned, this whole map has gone dark, right? They're deep within the fog of war. They, they, they no longer know where these players reside. And so they've just got to apply the brakes. They've got to slow it down. They've got to wait for something to go off of. And if they don't, well, then they've just got to make this play blind. Just hoping for a mistake to be made. We know Fours have had some aggressive rotations through that ramp room, but nothing is getting gifted the way of Fury this time. Almeida is in a great position. There's no Molly to get him out from behind CT Vents. He can cover door and the hut. First kill in this two on three. And now Yuri's alone. Face cracks even at the back of the site just to make matters worse. There is no way to win this round, you would think. 18 seconds, Yuri's going through, finds the angle, but not the frag, and Fours keep up this CT streak. 7-3 here right now. Furia surely coming now to regret those early force by rounds. It has put them in a desperate spot. Another eco has to come through. I say another, it's not like we've had many. It's been reinvestment after reinvestment from these Brazilians, but they're going to put a bit of money in and save the rest for a rainy day. Fast A play in this one. Case Dorado straight wow. in. A blistering pace set by this man. And he's cracked the A bomb site wide open. Five on three in the first 20 seconds of this round. And now that bomb looking to get into A. Oh, Mazer, though. He's got a couple of players trapped here outside of the bomb site, outside of lobby. And he's still holding for the aggression, though. 
Oh, Maze, the only time's going to tell if this little flank is going to be a blessing or a curse for Fours. It's either their way of getting back in or it's the way of giving a wow. gun over. And it looks like it's the first of those options. All has shut down the lobby players. And with that, this retake looks like it might be on, but Fours, they've got to pick up the pace if they are going to go for it. They've got to try get in here and now because that timer is ticking away. It's starting to work against them, but Jerry's not missing a beat. They get in. There's no time. And there's no time. Yeah, they waited so long on that lobby flank, so, so long. And maybe if the kills were presenting themselves earlier, there would have been a chance, but Fury were tucked in behind the silo. They, they weren't exposed to main, they weren't exposed to lobby. I think Jerry might have thought there was players left, because I, I swear as he hopped on in, there might have been enough time as he gets on it, but he had the USP out and was like looking around yeah. like he anticipated more players to be there. Yeah. It's always uh... sad when something like that happens, right? But. Hey, it's what Fury have been dreaming of, Harry. They've been going for these fast A plays round after round, and finally they pay off. It took a double opener from Caserato, but hey, if he can repeat that, then Fury are on for a few more. Four, seven, double AWP once again. Fours have not been hesitant to pull this uh, investment out. Almeza ramp side, we've got Z power outside. But the smokes are down, and that is completely denying vision. Player jumping above. Z Power hits, uh, well, tries to hit the flick, but is unsuccessful. And now Molly hovers position. He has to back off towards CT Spawn. Change it up. Give Furia the route down towards B if they please. And they do as they sit in the secret smoke. Not committed. They might actually go through it and go towards Garage. Furia love a good smoke push, and they've gone for it again, waiting in the smoke for it to fade. And Yuri takes down Jerry, but the trade is imminent. Z Power might be low, but he's still alive and kicking. Nice Molotov from the roof there. That's actually from Keserato. It's going to push base crack a little further back. It's actually flit, sorry, on the site rather. But now they're coming in, and they're going to be splitting in through main. Pressure's on flit to find some frags of face crack he needs to get flashed out from vents uh, split will answer the call but only briefly it's been disconnected and now this a site crumbling once again bomb plant found for furia bomb has been planted Fours, they weren't able to get this retake done in the three on three last time they've got another attempt Ooh. here and now and power already spotted this time not replicating the success of all mazer over in lobby He's just had to fall off. Like, Z Power's out of the round. He's already gone back to ramp. And so, yeah, Almaze has got no choice but to save as well. That'll be the round going the way of Furia. Now that they've got five Why? on there, ah, oh, Z Power gives that AWP oh. away. That's definitely not worth it, man. I understand the confidence. He's 13 and five. He's been nailing all his shots. But, I mean, if you call a save, you sometimes just got to go for it. That was a two on two. Furia already aren't, you know, really profiting too much off this round. One kill's not going to make the difference, but it will to Fours, who lose one of their two AWPs, and they have no money to reinvest for it as well. Z I mean, Z-Power can buy an AWP. He can buy a, a Kevlar AWP in this round, but he's the only man with money, and you would have loved him to have an AWP, drop over another gun, and have a really good buy into this one. That's now not going to be the case. Yeah, it really does make all the difference. And, you know, especially with things like the famous price decrease coming yeah. in, he could have uh, could have dropped an M4. They would have had enough to have rifles across the board, you know, looking at Famuses as, uh, as a viable option as well. Luckily, Almaz has given him the AWP. So, you know, I guess, you know, it works out, right? But uh, just lost money, Harry. That's such a shame, man. Always oh, does all the saving. He's yeah. the one who plays it well. And then he's like, I don't even get to keep it. I got a UMP. I got this garbage little SMG instead. Yeah, at least buy an MP9, guys. Come on. Or give him a Famous. It's like $400 more now. Well, yeah, more than that. $750, but what's the difference? $750. <laughs> Shotguns out for face crack as well. Ooh, the like old alligator Z power going above, but not going beyond. He's going to have to drop off that top site. Probably not aware of how much room he had. Who the hell even plays there? It's so dangerous. It's so exposed to the silo. No one in that position though for Furia, luckily enough. Yuri flashing yard, face crack waiting for this contact outdoor. They've been going for this a lot. And yeah, that one douche of the alligator has sent them out of the door. They want nothing to do with it. But it actually is going to push them into the ramp room. And look at the setup. We're well, not only a boost, but two more pistols in position. If Yuri go and commit towards a ramp, it could be a bloodbath and not the one that they want. Yeah, I absolutely love this setup. You've got a player to draw the attention. One of the pistol players is hidden and one of them is boosted. Ooh. And so you're hoping you could have drawn them in into that triple stack. Now quad stack over at ramp. That is not the case, though. Instead, they bypass it entirely. They're going to get down through the vent. 
immediately, in response to hearing that, Face Crack pushes the lobby, gets the information that this side of the map is clear. And wait, 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 Yuri, where's he with that bomb? He's all the way back in lobby. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! They've gone down to B, but they've forgot the man carry in the package. They've gone to the picnic, but someone's forgot the sandwiches, and now they've got to go back and get them. Saving Private Yuri in this round. He's behind the enemy lines. They'll go back up through the vents to try and help him, and they've dodged and mitigated this <laughs> danger nicely. No. Fours have got no idea what's going on. Fury, I don't know what's going on, but Henny's getting kills anyway, and so it might not matter. Z Power left alive, and this time, surely he holds on to the orb. Okay, so so maybe I'm maybe I'm a conspiracy theorist. Maybe I'm crazy, Harry. Tell me if I'm getting off track, but. Is there a chance, do you think, that that was all part of the plan and that they just left the bomb in lobby with the intention of going back up the vents? Probably not. That's absolutely mental. But uh, hey, they all got vents and it works out wonderfully. If any Z team was going to do it, it's it's yeah, scary, right? right? But like... <laughs> that seems too crazy for me, to be honest. And I love the hunt as well. Everyone just pushing into the spawn. They don't even want the AWP parry. They just want fours to not have it themselves. Stealing that gun away near the end of the half, and we are reaching that point. 14 rounds in, Furia with six to their name. And this could be a really good T side, right? Those forces dug them a hole earlier in the half, giving Fours that 6 3 lead, but oh, how the tables have turned. Ah, oh, Z Power back with his AWP outside, and they push just ahead of that Ooh. smoke. Jerry's even here to help him out. And he's brought Art down so low on top of the hut there. This is already a great start for Fours, and it might get even better as Z-Power is still taking these peaks with the AWP, still gunning for this outside control. Oh, Jerry, they smoke him off. He almost gets away with it too. This is where Z-Power oh. surely falls, but no, they've come in and saved him. Olmaze has bailed him out again. It's not just dropping him orbs, it's saving his life now. And Z-Power owes it all to Olmazer. How's he managed to get here? How's he managed to get past Keiserato and get his way into that little cubby corner down a ramp? This is... Um, an interesting situation yeah. to be in because they don't know that Keiserato is here. In the same vein, no one knows that Ormaz is here. Luckily enough, Vinny is wow. just one step ahead, clears him out from ramp, and now they've got a path into B. Yeah, of course, have to hurry up and rotate. Flip doesn't want to ditch the A site just in case they come back up the vents again. I mean, who knows? But uh, no, this is a commitment. The bomb is down on that lower site. Vinny getting dropped. Face crack goes through the smoke. The door was already blown open. And Case Dorato, he's there with a trade, but it might not be enough. Yuri alone trying to catch the headshot does. But he's being hunted down. Jerry on the chase. 10 HP for Yuri. The Molotov cuts him off, and he has not got time to wait. 20 seconds to get this man off of the site. Jerry's going to hear the doors swing open, and that's all the info he needs. But now, Yuri wasting more time going up to the window. Jerry is keeping track of it, and he's going to be able to close out the round as well. 8 6. Fours finally break the curse that Furia bestowed upon them. And a chance for a 9-6 half would piece things together nicely for the Russians who are down a map already in this series. Yeah, I think, you know, you look at a 9-6 and you think to yourself, yeah, that, that's recoverable, right? We get pistol, we're already almost there, we're already over the line. But an 8-7 can really feel like, like a world apart. Yeah. As we saw back on Inferno, that one round difference would have made all the impact for Fours. And so considering they're coming up against such a broken buy in this round, they really want to try and seize that Z-Power, whether it's AWP, whether it's Scout, he's still putting up numbers outside. The AK of Jerry has done even more, <laughs> and it is just a bloodbath outside. Vinny's left alone in a matter of seconds and a 1v5 to find. Oh, not gonna happen. 9-6 at the end of the half of fours. Those four spies that Fury went for earlier have made this one a little more difficult. They're up for the test, though. Second half coming up in just a moment. Let's see if Fury can close this in two or if we're going to a third map. Join us after the break. So once again, this one is pretty evenly split at the end of that first half. 9-6 in favor of Fours, but now they move into the murky waters of this T side. Furia moving into the CT half. Utility for Art and Vinny, double Molotov. They want to try and deny event play perhaps, but actually, I mean, with such a heavy ramp presence, 
This is Ooh. not the case. Oh my goodness. That is what? clinical. There's been, what, seven, eight bullets fired in this round and all the kills have come in already. It's only Jerry left. He's wondering where the hell have the rest of my team gone? What's gone so wrong in this round? He's trying to get revenge. Oh, oh Jerry, he just might get it. Gets the reload off. And now two players, they're both here. Oh my God, Jerry! What is that? The tenth round for fours and the pistol round locked in. Woo! What is that, man? I'm joining in with those three. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest Woo! Jerry fan I've ever seen out in the audience. That is incredible. What? I, I don't even know. Those Molotovs weren't even used there by Furia because they killed everyone so quick. And Jerry, with a one on five, the flick back to lobby. Just Mate, yeah, incredible. That, that one, that one, dude. When he gets Case Serato coming in, he just turns around. Gone. Like, oh man, you know, you know he's feeling it. He's channeled in to the Jerry zone. And we don't often talk about it, but when he's in it, it's terrifying. A great round to kickstart this for fours. A confidence boosting round as well, considering how awfully that started for them. Certainly not Sleepy Jerry in the server, Harry. He is here to play and fours a round and a kill up in this one. Five on four with a man in the vents. That's just going to make matters worse. We've got two players down lower B already. Z Power and Face Crack covering each other. Clearing out secret while also watching for the vent drop. Furia stands still right now. Just trying to get info. Just trying to get anything here. But Forza not giving them a lick. Henny holding radio to ramp. So he's got a lot of information towards lobby. But still doesn't know where this bomb is ending up. Four is going to flash their way back into A. They've wrapped out from the yard, and Jerry is going to walk in through main with face crack. It's an open A site. It's an empty A site. And it's likely an 11th round as Fury might consider saving here in the post plant. They've got nothing to show for this, no way of getting back in, and also no kit for the retake. So, probably best bet to be seeing these pistols in the upcoming round. And give Fours the respect that they clearly deserve. This could have been an entirely different game, but uh, Jerry has just made this a reality for fours. Yeah, I mean, uh, as well as that, right, it's kind of important that it's uh, not not important, but I think it's going to help out even more that it's Jerry to get that ace in the pistol. We know, you know, he is a frag in IGL. He does put up numbers. But uh, quite often, you know, your individual performance ends up affecting the, the kind of calls you're making to the rest of the team. And so Jerry now, now feeling this, now feeling some confidence, not just in himself, but in the rest of the squad. That is a scary Jerry, not a scary Terry, to say the very, very least. <laughs> He's in your dreams. He's in your nightmares, Harry. He's at the foot of your bed when you wake up. Not in a good way, though. But 11 rounds for fours, and Furia have to take that eco. They lost one of the saved pistols down on ramp at the end, but a flawless round for fours means that they get a chance to build money. Ramp push from Furia. Let's see. The heat is brought. The Molotov thrown in bow by Flit is going to, or should deny these players, but they just run right through. They have no fear. Nothing to lose and everything to gain. They've got the bomb and guns in the lobby. This is a nightmare. An absolute mess for fours, and they've got to go back in behind enemy lines to regain control. Although Fury just not stopping, they're still bringing the fights towards Force. They're not camping that bomb. They're just trying to force engagements and into a two on two with control back towards that A site. Do they realize that Jerry is right below them grabbing the bomb? Caserato just missing the timing, but oh, oh there it is. And Jerry's going to check it. Yo. Two HP remaining <laughs> for the entirety of the Force lineup. This is scary. Yuri, not ready for the heaven wrap, and that could decide this entire round. One HP oh, no. on both surviving players, and timing is everything here. And right now, Yuri has caught every favorable timing he can. If he gets this kill, Jerry falls with the bomb, ah. and it's just one man left. Jerry removed, one HP on face crack, nine for Yuri. It's the battle of the low boys outside. And that smoke has cut face crack off. He's gonna try and reposition this. This is high risk, high reward. It's big brain versus big brawn. Yuri outside. Oh. Bit of an unorthodox angle. Will that be enough though? Face crack up through secret, still unknown. And it's his little secret for the time being. Who's gonna win oh. this one? It's face crack getting it done with one HP. Bores a 12th round.
narrowly, narrowly besting the pistols there. That is absolutely terrifying indeed. I love that ramp flank and from Furia, I mean, not only going through the Molotov, but even committing to pushing once they took the lobby. They had a four on three. They could have hunkered down, but not spotting the bomb behind lobby and they just go aggressive. It doesn't work out at the end, but it certainly breaks uh, a bit of money away from fours. So it gives a chance for Furia to get on this CT side here. And they have everything. Double AWP, Arc, Mollied, and flashed out in main. Vidi, he's still surviving on the hut despite the Molotov, but he might not for long because Jerry's already found an opening kill towards that A site. The trade is in, and the frags are in favor of fours. As now A has been dropped, it's only Caserato here. SMG, not going to be good enough, and Caserato stepping up to the mark. He's got the bomb, but does he realize that Flit is right beside him? Oh, they've just missed each other. The timing, the timing on Caserato. Stop watching hand. And oh. now in the hut, another kill for Caserato. Flips to no. No. gets it all, and with one HP remaining, four kills there from the all-star Brazilian player, a seventh round for Furia. They hold on, they live to fight another day, and this map, this series is becoming a game of heroics. This is one that you absolutely do not want to look away from for even a second. We've seen big play after big play, and we might just get a few more with Z-Power donning that hero orb in this round. Oh, and the grenade just chunks him. It stops him in his tracks. Oh, he just misses the timing. He could have killed Art, who was watching Silo as he strafed backwards, but instead the orb has been lost. Temporarily so. Almeza picks it back up, but at this point, Fours have lost one of their uh, three armored players and really much hope of winning this round. Ooh, it's getting dangerous. Art playing with fire in the yard. The warp is once again moving through towards secret. Art has not spotted these players, and there's no rotate down B yet for Furia. They are aware of the possibility as they clear out the ramp room. Henny's pushed up with the SMG, so plenty of info and plenty of control here for the Brazilians, but they don't have anyone down B, and that might need to change if Fours commit to this yard split, but... Right now, Jerry doesn't realize Vinny's right behind him, does get the frag though, and that's a, an opening kill for Fours. Back into a four on four, giving them a chance of converting this round. Oh, Almeida's are on that AWP has actually won another oh, fight. No. Face cracks Deeg down Henny. Caserato, you've got a clutch again, my friend. This game has now fallen into your hands. Or this round, rather. He's tagged up. He's boxed in. They've got him right where they want him. And in this hole, oh, that's where he goes. No! What are you doing? This is incredible. Another round for Furia. Oh my word, it's just big moment after big moment. There's been so many, and there's still nine rounds left to play. What on earth are we watching? Furia had to call a timeout, and I think damn so. Look at these shots. Somehow getting the kill to Almeza and Jerry just not being able to get the cover off with that MAC-10. Caserato is having the game of a lifetime right now, and it might just be enough to pull Furia into pole position here on the CT side of Nuke. They may have been down after the first half with a pistol going in the way of fours. A one on five for Jerry that felt like that could have just crushed, uh, crushed Furia, but they have not stopped. I will say, great clutch for Caserato, but looking at that round before the clutch, no, yeah. that was a mess for Furia. I mean, they are definitely over-aggressing into the lobby, that's definitely the getting ahead of things. It feels like it's all at Caserato's peril as well. It's yeah. Every one of these rounds, everyone else just pushes, and then they're all just watching him from beyond the grave. like. Come on, bud, this was our round to win. It's not his fault, <laughs> man. He's getting everybody. And so now, this investment's back in from fours. They've got rifles across the board, all bars the power. He had that hero orb just a few rounds ago, obviously. So that's impacted the uh, the buying potential here for fours. Of course, there are. Oh, yeah, there yeah. we go. Getting another opener in this round. 25 kills right now. Got to see a chiropractor after this one, man. He's, uh, he's feeling a little worse for wear. But if it gets them over the finish line, if that's what it takes, if it, if it takes Caserato dropping 40 kills and he can do it, then by all means, Furia, by all means. Look at this control, though. I mean, fours, they may be down a man, but they've got so much of the map under their wing. Art is below. He's going to climb up this ladder. If they beat him into heaven, he is going to get caught out. But luckily enough, he's just there in time. Drops into the A site. That might have been heard. 
I think Flit just conned it. So Caserato covering heaven, gets one. Second man coming through, but Flit with a trade. That's massive. Four still down a player in this round, but they've got a control towards the A site. Almeza with one, the shotgun comes alive, and it's Flit from up and above. He has to win this alone, but Yuri will not allow it. Nine rounds to Furia, a nice slower pace from this CT side, and it actually works in their favor as well. Doesn't just come down to one man as nine rounds are found on the CT side, and finally the money has been at least put to a stop for now. That's it now, any pistols in a fast A play, Case Serato armed with an auto shotgun. This is the weapon you want for this round. They actually get down Ooh. the vent, my word. How many times did Art just get hit by that nade? Yeah. A thousand. But uh, Bomb Plant found here for fours with a bit of fancy footwork to get them down to vent. These pistols, as they get closer, as they try and find these fights on players in rotation, that's how this round could spiral out of control. So if you're Furia, not only do you have to be pretty heads up and get down to this site quickly, but you've got to keep your eye on these flanks. You've got to worry about it. Whoa. Thankfully, Henny has removed a lot of the pressure here. Z Power and Jerry left, but Jerry's got the M4. They're on that bomb. I don't think it's planted for ramp even. So yeah, this round is all said and done. The M4 even stripped away. Fury, don't let that fast B plant get to them. They don't crumble under the pressure. They're able to see it through to the very end. Crucial yeah, kills for... Oh, sorry. I, I thought you'd done It's all right. good, man. It, it happens to everyone, yeah. Hugo. Cru crucial kills for Henny is what I was trying to say, right? Because you, you talk about those lurks, right? When you get a vent dive and you get a bomb down, you've got to be aware of players still in lobby, still looking outside. And Jerry was still stuck inside of radio. He tries to come out ramp and, and his team assists him by running up from B to chase down Henny to overwhelm him with numbers. But Henny, he's able to get two kills there before he gets dropped. And those two kills really uh, open up a window for his team to get into the site means that even though Furia pick up, oh, the fours pick up that gun rather, there's nothing they can even do with it. At that point, the bomb's already been defused. Shotgun still being held forward for Vinny. He's having a bit of a rough game right now. Six kills to his name, but let's hope that that can turn around here for Furia as the scoreline certainly is. They're up to double digits. One oh, art, lots of aggression in this round. A real change and face crack is just not ready for this switch up, we're seeing some more uh, re return to what we expected from Fury, especially Art, right? Really kind of feeling more confident at going for this aggression on the CT side. Vinny's even holding close at Z Power. He looks tempted with this smoke. That's because there's a gap in it. But regardless, I would not want to be taking that fight anytime soon. Okay, Serato's already down in B. And uh, I think that comes off the back of the vents getting broken early in the round. Just double checking that no one's got down here. And on top of that, they made a conscious decision to give up ramp room. So that's an interesting thing to know. Ooh. Might not matter because Art, a third kill in the round, the hat trick over outside. And now it all falls onto the shoulders of Ormazer and, and Z Power here. The Orp and the Krieg now having to do it all. and nothing to do it with as well. They may have a player out on ramp, but this is information that Furia has. Henny's covering Hellside. We've got Yuri down B scoped with a Krieg. Hard fight for Almeza to win here. Right eye peak misses the timing, but Yuri's coming back in for a second piece of the action. He's been spotted, but Almeza can't find the kill. That Molly should allow it, but he gets repeated as soon as it leaves his hands. Yuri does not let Almeza get ready for that fight. And Z-Power might want to hold on to the AWP, but he is in a dangerous predicament. At any point, Vinny could push the lobby with that shotgun and take that AWP down after time. It's a big risk to still be in this spot if you're Z-Power, but he might just be able to get away with it. Time is ticking away. Here comes the flank. Art getting shot in the back. <laughs> and yeah, that works wonders. Z-Power gets up and out and holds on to this gun. Yeah, yeah, he will. Not this time. 11 to 12, though, Hugo. This is getting closer by the second. One away from Furia tying this up. And with the... Uh, with the comeback, well and truly on the cards. Furia are getting more and more confident as the round goes on. I mean, it might have been Case Serato early. You know, he's almost on 30 kills. He's doing phenomenally. <laughs> But now we've got Henny, Yuri, and Art all falling into place around him. And that was what we were missing early on for this CT side of Furia, the rest of the guys. But now that they've arrived, now that they're showing some presence in the server, it's become that much of a harder task for Fours to get back into this one. 
Yeah, I mean, this was 12 6, Harry, right? Pistol round and the anti ecos for fours put them up to this scoreline. And since then, Fury have not dropped a rifle round. Not the spot the fours want to be in. Hoping this orb can be the difference maker outside. Z Power, he's not going to get given a kill here. Art may be playing hell, that's something, but the rest of the outside control is down to Yuri, who's so passive in the garage. Oh, the read is there, but the connection is not. Fours, they want to split Mini, but with Yuri in his position, that's going to make things very, very difficult if that's not cleared. Vinny doesn't, uh, they don't have a Molotov to get rid of him, so he could be very, very effective here. There's that garage play coming into effect. Yuri with a double, now the ace splits, but it's not really a split, it's more just of a door crunch, and Vinny's going to be able to take the first man down. Re-peeking with a Molotov as well, looking for more. Man in the hut tag down to 20. Flick gets a chance to escape, but escape into the lobby is not really what fours need. 20 seconds or 30 seconds left for them to try and do anything here, but they haven't even got the ball. Yeah, might be a save. It, it might be. And that there, this scoreline, conceding the 12th, heading into this next round with just the Kriegs and AK. Y you understand the, the decision to save here. You can still invest something in this next round, but it's not going to be great. And fours, they're, 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 they're towing the line between that same situation that, four, uh, sorry, that Fury were in in that first half, right? Where you're just so tempted to keep going for these cheap buys, keep throwing them in. And it just hasn't been working for fours in the same way it really didn't work for Furia. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the four spice for Furia, although they were very different and, and you know, they were just running fast SMG and Galil rounds, right? I, I see your point. It allowed Furia, oh, sorry, fours to get seven rounds in a row on that CT side initially. And then eventually Furia broke that streak. But the same thing's happening right now, Harry. There are six in a row for the Brazilians and they've really made this map a, a reality. It's equaled up now. And remember, they're a map up in this series. They won Forza's pick of Inferno back earlier on in round number 30. And now, while well, this one seems to be going the distance, Furia in with a very real shot of 2 0 in this series, knocking Forza out the competition, but most importantly, securing themselves a spot in the semi finals tomorrow. And that's the thing, man. When we came into this event and we were speaking about the teams that we saw having their eyes on that final as, as, as more of like a reality than so much as just hoping to get there, Furio were one of the names that came to mind. And on day one, they, they looked pretty flat, right? Being yeah. truthful, it wasn't the squad that we wanted to see. But here on day two, they're bringing the heat. And most importantly, they're showing resilience. This matchup was one that looked like it was going to slip through their... Well, this map, rather, was one that looked like it was going to slip through their fingers at one point in time. Well, now it's 12-12. We're even Stevens as we approach the latter stages of this game. And make no mistake about it, Furia are now very much in the driver's seat in this one. Yeah, fours have forgotten what a round looks like, Harry. But they're going to need to get their memory back soon because only two guns in this one means that Fury are really up for a clean round, a chance to build money on this CT side. Fours waiting for any aggression. But one thing that has been good in these last couple is Fury have definitely toned down these pushes, stopped flanking ramps so heavily, and uh, as a result, Fours are not getting given the early kills they want. They're going to go back towards the outside, but they have no utility. Bear that in mind. So it's going to come down to dry fights and fights that Yuri is looking to take back from CT. Just covering main cross, allowing these T's to go down to the B bomb site, but there is an AWP waiting in the wings there. Yuri, oh, he's just missing the timing, going to get back into the angle. Oh, he spots them. Not enough to take a shot, doesn't want to give away his position, but now he finds an angle. Jerry is dead. Almeza getting an opening kill in the meantime onto that top site, but there are so many responsive kills from Fury that makes this too difficult. Fours not with a leg in this round. That's going to change things, though. Ooh. That really will change things. Almeza catching a man up the vents, and now he knows he's got to pass down towards B, taking the bomb as well. Henny swaps sites, but it realizes now it's too little, too late. They're already on lower. And he wants to give this a look in at the very, very least for the damage he can do to the money of fours, but also because these guys have been good in these clutch situations. Henny, no stranger to that. Push it on in. Now would be the time for a vintage Henny performance, right? If you ever wanted to bank on this man, it's here and now at 12-12. And that bomb is just ticking and ticking away. It's tormenting him, bleeping in his line oh. of sight, and no one is giving him anything on the fours side. Wow. There's Almazer to cement it with four. And fours, they're going to keep that lead under their belt. They're not ready to give it up to Fury just yet.
Yeah, that one top hard player that goes down for Fury just gives the opportunity for Almeza to get outdoor, and he does so much damage there as well, right? Not only killing the man on the side, but catching that rotation perfectly. And that play from R up Vents with an AWP, I mean, you know, sometimes I'm sure that's going to work, but those are big risks that you really can't afford to take at this point. You are near the end of this game. And luckily, Fury have the money to bank on, uh, you know, making those aggressive plays. But these are the little mistakes, the, the little decisions that really do come back to haunt you. If Art doesn't die there, well, maybe the bomb doesn't get down towards B. And right there, there's a two-on-two -two retake potentially for Fury. Or instead, it's Henny coming in too late to the bomb site with no chance of winning it. So 13 rounds for four as they finally break the streak. Could this be what get uh, what gets them over the finish line? Oh, and a change of pace. Always good to keep your opposition guessing. Oh my word, Caserato legs. Yeah, on, as he tries to jump on over, just briefly in the firing line as he powers. Sometimes that's all it takes. A little bit of damage done. Ah, oh, ooh, he's got the uh, the open hand. He's trying to use it like a shotgun. He's actually just walked through that barrage of bullets, undeterred by the lead that comes his way. And they don't know the AWP is near. Whoa! He just about gets out, just <laughs> about, just barely. Art is still alive, seven points of health on him. Oh, oh, he's still going for more peaks. Art, you don't have to do this to yourself, man. You don't have to keep on going for it. But he's got the information now that Lobby's looking pretty damn empty. And that there has turned Fury's attention back towards the outside area where this wall of smokes now covers. Oh, and they're taking Lobby as well, being uh, loud about it, not trying to hide the fact that they are in enemy territory. That's going to keep one man very, very back as Jerry is so tagged, he can't fight through that smoke. Art hitting the shot down on B. Repeat from Vinny, but it's too early. He doesn't get the shot off, and he's going to go down. That's an opportunity for fours as they set their sights on lower. All three players in secret. Fury have two men down here as well, both those AW he's in pole position and Molotov would end the life of Art immediately but he pushes out ahead of time and drops that bomb in the open 25 seconds fours have to take this lower site they have to get this kill but they're still getting tagged by the orb it's a desperation play back up the vents they go but Yuri's in hot pursuit he's dropped the orb one more man left to find and he's not going to be able to get it flit with an opportunity to take that top site there's no one there right now Henny is trying to get into position but flit Oh dear, a kill, an opportunity, but surely oh, no time to get this plant. He he reconsiders, he hesitates, and that one second makes all the difference. It's a fury around. Oh, that is such a shame for Flit. He does such a great job to even make that look doable for so much as a second, let alone get it down to the 1v1. And, and it just looked like one of those moments, you know, where you're in the clutch, you're so absorbed in what's going on in the game, you're not looking up at that timer. And so it just takes one of your teammates to maybe point it out, yell at you that there's no time left. And it was that, that one or two seconds running the other way that costs him everything there. Fury are calling in a pause. And I mean, justifiably so. That round yeah. still gets incredibly close despite picking it up so hectic and I mean that's a, a reset round right we may not have that old economy but after a streak from Furia a solo round from Fours instantly responded on Fur uh, Fours are going to be you know at least coming back in with a buy but with nothing really to show in the long run if they lose this round and that will be you know 14-13 with a force buy or an eco you know pick your poison at that point what do you want so Fours really need to win this round if they want to be in this game I mean, it goes I mean, both ways. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, right? That's the thing. Coming down to that that 1v1 at the end has wrecked the money for both of these teams. And this round almost single-handedly decides the outcome, or, or could very much decide the yeah. outcome of this game, right? Like, there's always crazy sure. stuff that can happen with forces. There's always ridiculous pistol plays that you can make, but they're not something you can rely on. And if you want to have everything you need, well, then you're going to need this round under your belt. And clean as well. That might be the most important thing, right? If you're able to take it cleanly, then yeah, you, you set yourself up so well. But these rounds have been anything but clean, Hugo. <laughs> they have been filthy. So uh, we'll have to wait and see for that one. Smokes towards main. Are they going to go all the way through CT here? Wrapping Yard, trying to overwhelm Yuri in the back of Garage. He's waiting. He's patient, but Face Crack is reading it as Fours realized this is too empty outside. Given so much control, there's got to be a reason. And they find the answer. 
quick kill onto the outside player and a wrap towards Hell. Hemi's had to rotate off of ramp, leaving his back line open as Vinny comes to join him as well. Fours are already climbing up rafters. Vinny can beat them to heaven at least. But 30 seconds here, Fours, they've got to take that top site at this point. They have no control down towards B. This next kill decides everything. Vinny, can he hold the line? Ah, oh, he's going to get broken down by the triple play. Oh. Serato, stalwart as ever. Two kills. It might not be enough, though, as it falls now onto the shoulders of Henny. This time in the 1v2. Oh. He's got his AWP, and he sees the man up on the rafters now. Just split left to beat. And Blit, hidden by that smoke, concealed in the fog of war right now, just hidden back within this bomb site. Henny, so patient, waiting for Flit to make his move. And now it's just a matter of who breaks first. Smoke is down, but as we know with Furia, where we see a smoke, they see a window of opportunity. Henny might try and go through this. He spams it. Orp now out, running oh. in, Shot misses, and Flit is going to win the 1v1, cementing a 14th round for Fours, and with that, breaking the economy of Furia, map point is on the horizon for Fours as of right now. The Brazilians looking like they're going to try and force by into this round. It's do or die. They've put everything into this one, and they've got to make it count. It looks so possible as well. Kesarato getting two from the site as they fall in from heaven. You said he might need 40 kills to win this game, Harry. Well, he's at 30 right now. Back-to-back -back aces, maybe, but more likely not. It's a lobby crunch here from Furia, and they are going to get crunched back. Two kills going the way of fours before the trade is in. And it might be a double trade. Flint's low. He's still going to get that frag. He's coming for support. And Almeza on the wrap to clear it up. Fours, they deal with that uh, pistol force by very, very quickly with limited casualties. And now it's looking more than likely that we're heading to Mirage than ever. 15-13 and another 2k force by to keep Furia in this map. Yeah, they've got a bit more in terms of utility this time around. So I'm imagining we're not going to see one of these fast lobby crunches. I don't, I don't think that's how you want to go out either. I don't think that's the note you want to end on. But Art, oh, maybe he does. Maybe he might, because Henny's alongside. And they've gone for the push again. Oh. Get away with some damage. But what? it's Jerry to get the first kill in amongst all the madness. Yuri dropped into the vent. There's players everywhere. Look at this minimap. Face cracks up on the ramp. He's gone through B. I don't know what's going on in this game right now. There's just players coming out of our ear holes and a man up for fours they're feeling good with all this control they've exerted down towards b now knowing that ramp room is clear as well things are looking up for fours and they just might find this plant and with it maybe even the map yeah bomb going down lower Caserato is the only man here right now he has been the stand-up player, though, but they are not even playing with him. Molly off. Great shot from Yuri. Does drop flip, but that gun irretrievable, at least for now. Face crack, conceding that position. As his team come in for support, the flashbang misses, but face crack. He's peeking into four. There's an opportunity here with the advantage now being traded back. Z power down to 20 HP. We have so many low players on the four side of things. Furia, can they trade this kill? They don't even need to. They take it back into a three on two. Almazer up on the rafters. Crossfire to Jerry, who looks to make contact first from the ramp. He's dead as well. No hit. They've got to go now. And Almazer only gets one. It's not enough. It's uh, yet another round. And Furia are going to salvage a 14th at the end. End of it, the pistol forced by the lobby crunch, it works wonders. And once again, the full 30 rounds is required to decide who will be taking this map. Furia, it's them in Forza's position, as we saw back on Forza's map pick of Inferno at this 14-15 scoreline. We know how that one ended. Forza weren't able to get us there. They weren't able to get us to OT. Furia, is it going to be a different story? It's a full buy on either side of the equation. Orp in the hands of Art. Rifles for everybody else. Art hanging around towards outside. He's going to be holding this one, waiting for players to walk into his crosshair. Slow around from fours. No one at this point in time wants to be that first man in the server to go down. And everyone is just hiding, hoping that on the other side of things, someone makes a mistake. Ooh, Molotov pushing back those door players. Furia not wanting to give fours a route into that A site. Art doesn't realize there's a player cross behind red, and that could be 
hugely consequential because face crack he's been given so much room outside a flashbang from yuri on the retreat keeps face crack back and that has more effect than they would think Kenny now on the ramp room great kill yuri's going to come in from ct as well but he cannot afford to go wide there's an orb scoped on his position and he is just going to back off and give up the ramp room smart play play for the sights instead as fours, they have an option of going down towards B, but with that kill, now they can just go back up heaven. Face crack, the yard wrap works out in the long run, and Flitz taking control of hell as well. Will this be that A split with everyone coming in from the CT spawn? It looks likely, but Keserato, the man of the hour, is looking to stop all of that from the rafters. Yeah, we saw him in this position before with the same kind of situation, a triple peak. This time only a double, thanks to uh, one of those kills coming in. In case Dorato might have just done enough to get this one to overtime. Z Power, one versus three. 17 seconds on that clock. He's got to go fast. And right now, well, he's going slow, silent, Ooh. and that might cost him. First kill comes in. He drops down. Oh, now going to grab the bomb. Taps it. First peak. Oh, no. Now just one left to Fine, but Henny hides and up in heaven will carry on this game. Fury of 15 rounds and we're heading to overtime. There was a chance there. There was a very slim chance. What a nice try, but uh, not going to be enough. Not enough time to even fake that bomb plant for a final peak. And Furia, man, they've done it. They've drawn us all the way to 31 and more as we get into this first overtime of the second map. The first OT we've had, Harry, at least here at DreamHack. And boy, oh boy, is it, a, uh, is it a fun one? We've had a mad game here, and we are only just beginning. To think that there could be Mirage following as well, if Fours can pick up this map, is a great feeling, but they're not there just yet. Double Orb coming through here to start off overtime for Furia. Fours just with one. Everything to play for in this opening round. And a slow approach, at least initially. They might blow the door open. It was just to see if Z Power could catch a player over in main or garage. He won't be allowed to see anything, not with that smoke falling now. Arts even worked his way down towards secret from ramp. He's going to try and go for this late peak. And there is face crack lurking around towards outside. So a chance that maybe he can find the opener here for Furia. Ah, oh, what sees the man at red? Actually tags it for nine. Whoa. You know, negligible, but shot connects regardless. And <laughs> that's maybe going to scare fours away from outside for the time being. Fours want this inner play, but they're just not getting given an opportunity. Fury are tucking in very tightly. A molly behind CT Vent could get an opening kill for Fours as Vinny is stuck here with no smoke to extinguish it, but he gets saved from Art down in Vents who smokes off the door. Great utility from Furia in this opening round of overtime, but eventually it will run thin. It will run dry and Fours will run into A. That's their objective right now. They've got a, a split coming out from Flit up and above in through Mini. There's Vinny spraying, but he only gets one. Keserato again in the rafters and he is just laying down kill after kill. Three from the man himself and Furia takes 16. Great opening round. Keserato is on 38 kills. The next nearest on his team is Yuri on 24. So he is having an absolutely mind-blowing game of Counter-Strike right now. And that's the thing, 24 kills, that's not like, that's not even bad. That's pretty run, like, that's pretty decent. It is just Keserato taking matters into his own hands. Arts back outside with the AWP. He's gonna be no. quick, good players miss, but now oh. no scope, he's just not even using it. He's not even using the scope on this gun. Getting away with damage. Jerry gets finished off with a nade. And this one is looking like another fury around unless these three remaining players can dig deeper than ever to pull out some heroics. Oh, oh my goodness. Get Despicable. out. Despicable. Just get deleted. Arts him with another. And it's only Flit left. Three HP and a dream, and that dream is getting further and further away. 17 rounds now for Fury as we approach the last half, uh, sorry, the last round of the first half of overtime. It's a real mouthful, very tricky to say. And Fury, they might be about to do it flawlessly if they have their way. 
Yeah, I, I, you can just see Fury is so confident, right? They they had the early aggression in regulation where they were pushing lobby. Well, now they're just taking out side control, knowing that fours have to switch things up after going for so many inner plays on that top site. And a great read from Fury to not only get that orb across, but to have Yuri supporting Art in that position. They're both able to get kills. And fours can't get any progress. Last pause coming through. And the last round, as you say, of their T side. If they can just get one, that's fine. That's enough to at least set them up to pull a CT comeback. But at this point, is one even attainable? That's the question that Fours wonder. Smoke's outside once again. Furia with the AWP back in mini. Art looking for these kills, but the smoke, the molly on the door is gonna deny his info. He's gonna drop down the vents and try and play down towards B. Yeah, will he be ready though for fast? Phase crack in the front line. It's back to what feels like it's just going to be this inner play, maybe with face crack. Trying to either sell a B fake or come in late up through the vent. Oh. With him winning that fight onto Art, now that might be a reality. It's a three on three. But do not forget about your heroes. Keserato is still up here on the A side of the map, still very much alive. And him perks a bit of the devil himself, it feels like at this point. And so there might still be a chance. The bomb plant is found at the very, very least. Fours, they've come this far. They work so hard to get to map point, and they don't want to head out of this first half of overtime with nothing to their name. That there would just be heartbreaking. Yeah, and there's still a player to drop in through the fence as well. Flit is patiently waiting for this, but he's just moved off. That's the opportunity opened up for Fury. But again, time has been a problem on these retakes so many times, and it can't afford to be. It's ticking fast. The bomb's almost gone off, and Fury have got to get on it. There's just no one even close to the site. They may be getting the kills, but that bomb is going off. Whether you like it or not, it's around for fours. And face crack even getting the kills to make matters worse. 16 taken at the end of the first half. Fours do finally get one to their name. Is that going to be enough? We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's got to be a flawless CT side as they swap halves. Oh, and we're into the thick of it now. Second half of overtime about to come up. And it's do or die for fours. Fury already 1-0 and up in this series after taking their map pick of Inferno just moments ago. Nuke, though, is a much more drawn-out affair. It's still close, it's still to the wire, but a confident Fury are moving onto their T side now is a scary place to find yourself if you sit in this Fours roster. We look from left to right, you can see the focus, you can see that determination, and we're getting back into this one now. Double AWP between Z Power and Allmazer, and Fury looking like they might just throw a fast A play in to kickstart this second half. Not just kickstart, maybe to close it as well. Keserato and Yuri already have opening kills. Face crack, he's holding his own though, doing his best Keserato impression. Three kills on that top site, and that's gonna hold off the cavalry. He's actually pushed lobby, do they really Realize Henny's already wrapped the site, he's gotten control, and Yuri has killed Face Crack, who pushed inside of the hut. Almazer in heaven going one step too far, and Henny almost taking his head off. He's given an opportunity to back up, actually falls down the ladder as well. Two orps for the retake is certainly not what you want. The grenade chips away, but Fury had time to fall back into post parts, but they choose to take the fights instead, and they may come to regret it. Yuri getting picked up, Henny now alone, Almazer tagged in heaven, but they have utility to set each other up. Missed shots. Now they know where he is. He has got nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. They're already dropped inside oh. of the site for Henny. Only one. And the retake is one by four. 17-17. Double up into the retake is never ideal, but they somehow managed to get it done. Face crack and all maze, they've got to take a bow. They've got to, they, you know, I mean, they're owed something for that, right? All yeah. five kills come in between the two of them and they might have just done enough to save the day. It feels like, you know, in overtime, you tie things up 17-17, the pressure drops a little bit, right? You're not in that situation where you give up map point or series point to Furia now. Instead, you're even Stevens and you're both in with a chance. Z power back to outside. Art donning the AWP here, looking for this opener. And two players potentially to oh. find Jerry jiggling, and that's a decision he might come to regret. He's now going to try and lead his team, his ragtag bunch of misfits from beyond the grave. 
Hey, not just the leader in the server, but the leader in frags as well. Top performer for Fours right now, and he's already gone from the round. That is not the start they wanted, but a trade back onto Henny. That's an opportunity. It's something. Space track again. He puts up multiple kills. This man could not get less than two. As he stops the door play for a moment, Yuri will eventually get out, but there's still more players inside of the site, and his teammate is coming with him. Yuri looking close, but Flitz pushed hard, and that's a great reposition. They've read it. Yuri getting that frag. Rotate from heaven. The barrel spotted. Art's got the info. They just need to work out where this last man is, and it's the ramp flank from Almeza that is coming through. Might not matter. Art's dropped B with a bomb, and he's going to have a chance to plant while Yuri sells this A-fake. This is a this is a ballsy call to make in the two on two. You're really banking on Yuri's late play from this A bomb site, yielding you some almost immediate results. And both Z Power and All Mazer have gotten by him. But this gives Yuri a bit of time now, a bit of space to make oh. his move. He comes through the <gasps> vent, but oh, a no. missed shot, and now Z Power knows. Oh no! The shot from R. Yuri, not enough to find the kill, but he will get it the second time around. Getting pressed ah, and jumping around and finished off. Four's gonna grab the defuse. And it's map point for Fours, 18 to 17. I don't think Z Power realized he got shot at, Harry. I don't think he realized because the, the shot didn't connect. It landed inside of the vent, so he might have just gotten confused about where he was tagged. Someone maybe called it, but that shot behind him forces him to get aggressive and he chases down the AWP. Oh dear. That is a huge round to let slip through your fingers if you're Furia. That looked so well played, but Yuri just unable to get into safety in time and caught during the reload. Almeza coming in big here for fours, and they are the ones now playing for the victory. They are the ones trying to stop Furia from bringing us, bringing us to another OT, but they might not be able to. Vinny already dead. Art's gone as well. It's a slaughter on the ramp. Jerry's in with the rotate, but he doesn't want to commit with the man advantage already established. Doesn't want to throw away another kill to Furia. They've instead just put the orb to hold onto this line of sight, and Furia have moved their players and the bomb down towards B. And it's at times like this that the nerves really start to take hold. Fury at a man down, but steely, steely play from K Serato to drop Jerry and even things back out. The bomb's down in B and there's no one here for fours. That can actually come in. That bomb can go down. Oh. Yuri's plugged in the numbers and now the retake is on. A three versus three. Fours, they've been good in these. They've been able to stand the test of time. And now to try and win this out, to try and deny another OT. They've fallen a man down, but it's quickly canceled out by Flick. Yuri's been dropped as well. And now K Serato, it's only fitting that it's him to have to clutch this out in the 1v2. The nades are raining in. He can't see that bomb. Flashes to follow. Vro goes running through the smoke. Oh. But Oh. has it locked on down and fours. They're gonna take us to map number three. We're going the distance. Oh my word, what a series that ends up being. What a map. And there's still another one left to come. You would have bet your house on Kesarato, man. 42 kills in that map, Harry. 42 kills, and it's not enough to take Furia over the line. They've got to be feeling a little bit defeated after that last loss back on Nuke, showing that Force certainly can play that map. We, we highlighted that coming into it, and they showed us a fantastic game of Counter-Strike. And now there's even more. I, I'm, I'm so glad it's not stopping, because both these teams now are warmed up. They're fired up. They've both got a map under their belts. And it means this third one is set to be a screamer. Oh my word, you just don't want to miss it. Why would you be anywhere else? Why wouldn't you be watching this? Stick around, because we'll be back with map number three after a quick break.